this is the, the blog for the Wickham game. And um, although I said that um, away games and big home games are when I usually do the blog, I think today, you know, is, is a big game. Uh, not because of the team that we're playing, but because of the occasion and the, the league position of us and them. It's very much a six-pointer. Um, it's very much when we win and any eight-side chance of relegation, we can just put it to bed and say goodnight to it, like, you know. Um, I think we'll win today. I think um, we'll have a decent crate today. I don't think it'll be great. Um, our crates have not been amazing of late. But um, uh, we're not going to have a bad crate, really. Um, you know, we've got our hardcore. But, um, yeah, I, I really think uh, the team, as much as they're underperforming on a whole, you can't say we've underperformed as a whole the way the season has gone. You know, we overachieved at the first half of it. We've underachieved in the second half of it. That's balanced out. I mean, we, we, could be, we have come a bit close to, to falling away into, um, in, into the place we really don't want to be, and that's a relegation scrap. But um, no, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling positive. Um, Edinburgh is um, promised to ring the changes in the summer, so we just make sure that we maintain our football league status, and then um, we'll see what he can do for us. Because um, this, sim this same type of overhaul resulted in our promotion last season. So let's just see what he can do. I reckon I'd say give him more time. Definitely give him more time. Anyway, let's see what everybody else favourites. Kevin Sharp. He's going to give us his opinions on current state of affairs with the new book handy and how he thinks today is going to go far away Kev well, well today first of all today's game it's a, obviously it's a must win I think if we win we're safe if we lose then it's with the arse I really like I genuinely think it's too many teams we lose for us to go down but nothing's impossible if we lose today then we could have to rely on other teams as well but at the end of the day I think we'll win today at the end I think 2-1 um, as with the team I think it's got be a clear egg in the summer to be honest mm. I think the momentum took us through the first half of the season and we've been fine out now um, one thing I just want to say though is people saying get rid of Justin Edinburgh is a little bit crap I think mean, yeah he's, 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 some of his decisions this year with substitutes and tactics have been baffling but at the end of the day he's taken us from the bottom of confidence to mid-table and lead two in two and a half seasons and he, he said this season his remit was to keep us in the football league and if he win the day he's done, he's done just that I mean we got to give him we got to give him another crack in the whip next season yeah. obviously give him a first 12-15 games if nothing's changed then I look at it but I think mean, he, he's the right man to take this forward um, obviously there's been things with some of the contracts some of the players not being fit everything else I just think it's some of the, they all, everyone needs to sit down in the summer and sort out what needs to be done for next season to be honest right there's a lot going on about being said about Les Gadding being on holiday but um, as I expected he is very much in contact with the club oh, well, what, what, what do you think about that? well from what I've heard because I've I got a lot of people who know the sort of stuff that goes on inside the club and Les Gadding is at least every every three four days is in contact with someone in the club I know yesterday his family speaks to Howard every day I don't know about that but all I know is he's spoken to a few people a couple of times a week since he's been away and to be honest does he need to be there we've got Dave Barney who's supposed to be sitting all the way in the club Les is here really just to sort of not put his money in the club but here's how I've been and how many other chairmen do you actually see in the club we can we get sat in the Premier League about half of the Man United's chairmen is probably on holiday most of the season you never hear anything about it yeah. if we were winning people wouldn't care about money to be honest with Les is I don't care at the end of the day all I know about is he's also on the pitch if Les wants to take himself on holiday he's entitled to do that definitely yeah but then obviously because he's been around all day, people are questioning questioning um, whether he really wants to be at the club or not. Um, I'm worried that he might pull the plug come the summer and we'll be in the shit. Right, okay, well, what I think that is, how do these people know Les Stadium isn't talking to Justin Edinburgh? How, does, yeah. no, how do people know he hasn't done Justin Edinburgh once or twice a week and giving him a bottle of beer? Or, you know, he might just turn around and say, it's not good, huh? So, how are you gone? How do we know that's happened? He might not have, he might turn around and say, fine, need any help? You know where I am. At the end of the day, no one knows exactly whether he has spoken to Justin or hasn't. Yeah. So it's all speculation.
question, regardless whether he's here or whether he's not, I think it makes no difference whatsoever. Because I think if it, to be honest, I think if it was a big if it was a big issue, they should be back with him. Yeah, definitely. Same with Club, if it was a big issue, they should be back with him. He's gone a lot, but he said, probably said to be body and how we're doing that. Can you manage to make me the yes, right side guy? I'll see you in a couple of weeks' time or however long it is. No, that's what I'm expecting it is at the end of the day, mate, myself. So, uh, yeah, cheers for your time there, Kev. Um, very insightful as always. Cheers, buddy. We got an exiled Newport fan and we got some Wickham fans here. Um, I, I still don't know the situation here, so explain what's going on then, and then um, we'll ask you some questions. Stand with yourself, mate. I know your your workshop Amber off the West Ham, yeah. the message board, yeah? Uh, Newport County fan for 45 years. Moved up to workshop about four and a half years ago. Struggled again with a lot of the county home games, but I do do a lot of the away games. There's quite Enough. a few games sort of well within my yeah. area. Nice one. Um, I get in with as many as I can. And if I'm not here, I'm just panicking on Saturday all day. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, I know the feeling. And yourself, mate, what's your name? Uh, my name's Andy. Uh, supported Wickham for about 20 years. Brilliant. Uh, lived and worked up for nine years. Mostly go to away games, a few home games. And uh, we're not very good. Well, neither of us are no, uh, at the moment, yeah. really, are we? But, um, the same boat. I remember Boxing Day, I went down to Wickham and I had a really good trip there. You know, very nice people, nice stadium. You know, so, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that trip. I hope that you have a similar experience, or at least close to it anyway. But, um, yeah, so um, let's get the two of you in on you then. What do you do? Well, first of all, what do you think the score is going to be today? Well, we both say 1-0, don't we? 1-0. Yeah. One 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 yeah, that's, that's safe, that is. Go on, I'm really, really praying for a 2-1 win. Yeah. Just go controversial, go on. Someone say, well, you said 2-1 win. Do you think that's what it's going to be? What worries me is earlier in the season, we were creating chances and missing them. Yeah. But the last few games I've been to, we've created hardly anything. Yeah. And it, it really worries me. It's not just the four was not scoring. It's we're not really creating a lot of chances. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping today we'll be a bit more creative. I don't know what the team is, but I'm hoping Chatters will come back in. Mm. And maybe version. We'll have yeah. a bit more going. Apparently, he's going to shake the team up a bit. Yeah. And I did see in best this week he's going to rip the guts out of it through yeah. the summer and what have you. Maybe that'll make him play. I don't think it's lack of effort. I don't know. Maybe they just can't cut it. Maybe they just had a bit of momentum from promotion last year. I do find we kick off games and we start playing a bit of football for sort of 15, yeah. 20 minutes. If we go a goal behind, we're back to hoof ball again. And I'll yeah. oh, worry me a little bit sometimes. I went to yeah. Chesterfield last week, home game for me almost. Yeah. That. Um, I thought we were way the better side in the first half without creating clear cut chances. Mm. But I did like when we went a goal behind, even though they were having the better of the game, we managed to create the chance. To get a goal, hang on for one all. I came out feeling jubilant, went in the first half, seen the spot, and thought, oh shit, so, gone against us. So there is some fight and resilience within our yeah, team at I, the moment. I think they, what worries, if we win today, big sigh of relief, enjoy my trip home, I think we're alright. If we lose today, my ass is going to be making buttons because I, yeah. I really think we're dragged right into there. Yeah, well, obviously it'll be the same with everybody now, wouldn't it? Um, what about yourself then, mate? I mean, um, Wickham are doing um, exceptionally poor this year. You know, for me, I had Wickham as a mid-table, maybe top-half team beforehand, and I thought you wasn't all that bad when we played the game. So obviously we were in good form when we played you. We won 1-0, one but you could have come back into the game. So I'm a bit surprised to see you all the way down at the bottom of the table at the moment. Well, we've lost a lot of games by a single goal. A lot like, like us at the yeah, moment, yeah. I mean, if you look at our goal difference, it's about as good as anybody in the yeah. bottom half. We're losing so many games by one goal. Poor on set pieces defensively. Not the greatest goal scoring team. Late goals to see this. We add all that up. You're down yeah. the bottom of the league and it's so tight. Oh, it is a really, so really tight, tight league, isn't it? You can have two wins and you're straight back up into the middle of the table. Oh, that's it, isn't it? I think, I think, um, I think it's going to go right down to the wire. Yeah. I think I mean, my personal choice would be to see Bristol Rovers go down and you and Northampton to be safe, obviously. Because Torquay are pretty much gone, and they? Don't you reckon Torquay are gone? I'm pretty selfish, me. I like to see teams where I live. 
live. It's hard to stay up. Yeah. And get them games. But there's nobody really involved in that at the moment. So no. I agree with you. I'd like to see Bristol Rovers go down. Yeah. Uh, I think Tony have gone anyway. I would yeah. like them to stay up. That's always a nice weekend away. Yeah, of course, yeah. It's all selfish, I know, but yeah, there's no football reasons there. But I think football, 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 it. football's I think a cruel game. They lose today, they've gone, aren't they? I think, I think that's um, pretty much it, yeah. I think they're going to go anyway. But yeah. I'd rather see Bristol Rovers go than North Ham. Right, OK, then. Well, that's all. Well, I have to cut it there. we got to go over to the grain now. Um, a pleasure to meet you, mate. What's your actual real name, by the way? Rob, nice to meet you, Rob. And yourself, mate. And yeah, All right, take yeah. care and good luck to your team as well, OK? Cheers, Thanks thank for your time, you. guys. Cheerio. 99, 96, Liverpool fans went to a match and never came home. Our thoughts... Turn the music off, then. ...their families and friends at this time. The match at which the disaster took place, the FA Cup semi-final between Liverpool and Nottingham Forest, was ended six minutes after kick-off at 3.06pm. As a mark of respect and remembrance for what happened at Hillsborough 25 years ago, today's kick-off is seven minutes later than originally scheduled. We will now observe a minute's silence that will start and end on the referee's whistle. Thank you. on my coupon that's probably my own fault and I, I really don't know what to make of it you know, the atmosphere is flat like it's really really poor so we'll see if we can crank it up in the second half let's hope the players do the same
Manchester. Go now! Go now! Go now! Go now! He said, hang on a minute, but there's absolutely no hope of that happening, is there? Oh, oh please don't choke on it, please. Watch your mouth. Alright, what do you think of the game then, mate? Second half, it's amazing. Yeah. First half, it's an edgy. Yeah, overall, fantastic for the win. Bang in, mate, bang in. And um, you banged away on the drum and you're getting really good at it, mate. Fair play to you. Yeah, no, Robert Taylor who? Yeah, Robert Taylor who, exactly. Yeah, no more. Exactly. I see you seem to be enjoying it as well, mate. You were buzzing for it. I know, I got a fucking wound as well. Where's it gone? There, yeah. There's a wound as well. Oh, can we see it? Oh, there, there it is. There's war wounds. In war wounds? Yeah. Drummers get it too. Exactly. Players so, um, get injured, fans get blisters. That's it, mate, that's it. So, relegation um, fears are over now. Um, well, not mathematically over, but it ain't going to happen, is it? No. Well, Justin even said himself, you know, it's a match not there, lose game, move on to 2-0. Yeah. I was coming up with a 1-0 win, and then when Sabrowski scored that last one, yeah. geez. What do you think of Jolly getting a goal, then? Over the moon for him. You know, we haven't scored since Accrington. Or anyone else I can't remember. was the last time he scored, I'm certain. Yeah, of it. first game of the season, so I'm over the moon with him again. Yeah. Hopefully, there with him scoring a goal, he might, you know, have the confidence to get forward more and yeah. bang him in, get it from two or three games, which Lovely is quite dead ball, but. <laughs> So, um, who would you keep from that team? Well, first of all, would you start with that team against Wimbledon? And second of all, who would you keep hold of next season? Just two players who you want to see in the, in the squad. I'm not going to name all the players one by one. Just, um, just name two players on the current squad who you want to see there next season. Jackson. Yeah. Rob will love that. Definitely Jackson. I think he controls right back and whatever else yeah. he plays. I think it's brilliant. Um, and Brian Bidge. Bird. You think he should be playing at the moment? Yes. Fair play. Even though Porter has uh, come back into the spot, he's done amazing. Yeah. You know, I reckon he's controlled the midfield. I reckon Bird will always give you a hundred. Yeah. Without date, mate. Without date, mate. Anyway, thanks very much for your time, man, Sam. And I want to eat my pasties. Fuck off. Yeah, you fat bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who actually turned around and said at the beginning of the game, if we win the day, I'm going to shave my head. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> So yeah, Zeb and Jolly. Forget Zeb and Jolly, we're going to talk about your hair for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, so. Oh yeah, go on then, Zeb and Jolly then. If I see you in Asda, anyway, if I see you walking around, you're dead. Right, because I've got to lose this wonderful money. I've been growing since before Christmas, right? Remember the first time you saw I'm not being a vlog at Rosmuth, right? And you said I was making yeah. sure, you know, what's his name? Joey X6 and Vanessa Clark's a bastard. Yeah. Well, see, the hair's been growing since then. That was last year. Yeah. No. I'm not going to know. I don't like it very much. Howard, so, you're the pest, you are. I should bollocks after the ball in with a bollocks. Yeah. Yes, I've got a What? What? Oh. Have you got some medication that Gorman take? Uh, no, I've got oh. Mrs. H. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's got to rub on you got to be back in the nursing home by now. <laughs> Don't they have curfew at like 6 o'clock? <laughs> you better move. It's so kind. What's that? Like, yeah, it's all back on this. The nursing home, yeah. yeah. I've got my wheelchair. Where? I know it's, well, it's not here, but, you know, it's outside. Alright, H, um, you're dragging this on a bit now and it's starting to get boring, so I'm going to leave it at there. <laughs> As always, thanks very much for your time. Yeah, next time I see you, I should be skinned. Yeah, I think that's going to do the world of good. No, you will be. Are you going to be up on Muslim Week Tap? No. I'm going on all day. I'll post it on the company choir. Um, Fantastic. Well, I, oh, and again, give him another I'll range. Done by tomorrow. I'll be done by tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, same lads. Have a good day. Two now, come on. Love it. Thank you. Right then, so uh, that game, well, it was yesterday. It's now Sunday. 
Um, I had a bit of a busy evening. I wasn't out on the piss as I usually am, but um, you know, I still have a lot to do. You know, a, a lot of uh, things to cram into my uh, busy schedule. Um, yeah, so for, for me, that was a decent win against a poor team. Um, but then, you know, we've played better than a lot of poor teams in the past and then won. So the fact that we got the win, especially in the slump that we are, is a big deal because not only does it mean that we're preserving our Football League status, but it also means we're putting ourselves in the position where we can finish the season strongly. So the higher we finish, the better the platform for next season, you know. The higher we finish, the, the slightly better of amount of um, prize money we get as well. You yeah, know, it's not going to make a massive difference, but still, um, it's nice to see Jody get a goal, and it was nice to see um, Zabrowski score again. And um, it was nice to see a good performance from Michael Flynn, who, as far as I'm concerned, has done more than enough to earn himself um, a contract for next season. You know, I think you've got at least one more good season out of him. I know, I don't think that'll be the last year of him. I think he'll play for another few years. You know, he seems really fit and sharp. And, um, you know, you can tell by the way he plays how much he enjoys the game. So, uh, yeah. Um, obviously, mathematically, we're not completely av avoiding relegation but it, you know, that doesn't really matter to me because it, there's a lot of points with very little games left for a lot of teams to get you know basically we're in 13th so think of how many teams that is it's, it's about nine teams that have got a you know is it nine teams yeah nine teams i think that that have got to uh, get more points than us you know you know well if you think about it, uh, it's just it's just too much. It would take a major, major thing for us to go down. I don't think mathematically, if you think of all the fixtures everyone's got, I think a lot of the teams below us play against each other a lot. So there are going to be a lot of points lost down below us. So any thinking, any slight thought of possibly even being relegated is just madness. And I've been saying that for weeks, for, week, for weeks now. Anyone thinking we could get relegated is just madness. You know, wins like yesterday, you know, they were coming. You know, so I gotta be fair. I'm happy with the way that went. Um, I'm happy with the, you know, with the way we are. I mean, the first half of the season was a major overachievement. Second half of the season has been a slight underachievement. So all in all, we've surpassed any expectation really by being in thirteenth place. I said, and a lot of people agree with me with this. If someone could give us twenty second spot, guaranteed, I'd take it. I think a lot of other people are thinking this, will be thinking the same thing. As long as we stay up in our first season bag, consolidate ourselves, and start building towards becoming a more stable football league club, I was always going to be happy. And I think it, it got to be the same for everybody else. Anyway, on to the next one, Wimbledon. I can't make it. Um, I got major commitments, financial commitments at the moment, so I can't go. But I may be at York. So um, I think the next blog you'll see will be York. And I think I will do a last day of the season with Rochdale as well. So, yeah. So look forward to them then, guys. And um, if you're not watching the uh, the County Choir Football Manager series on YouTube, then um, uh, I do urge you to give it a go. Or at least just watch the watch them, minimise and mute if, if you need. Because obviously the views um, go towards monetization for the County Choir. So, um yeah, so any help that you can give us in that respect, and if you are at the moment watching that series and you're enjoying it, try and get some people involved in it, you know, so the more people get involved watching these things, the better. So uh, cheers then, guys, and until the next time, the county.